even though we didn't have to go to fight this war, we fought to defend Canada and its people. After he served for this country, David Ward fought to make sure Indigenous veterans were honored for their sacrifices. His efforts helped establish Aboriginal Veterans Day. There was either a free French or liberation of Holland ceremony going on, and I'm going, we don't have a day for us. After 14 years in the Canadian Army, Ward ended up on the streets of Ottawa. And I spent four years on the street drinking. Now sober, Ward says Aboriginal Veterans Day serves as a message to veterans struggling with PTSD. You don't have to fight this battle by yourself, and that's what I used to do. You know how to contact us if you ever need help. Trauma from residential schools and PTSD has multi-generational consequences. They were volunteering for a sense of duty and loyalty uh, to, to Canada when that was not reciprocated. Vidan's father was a residential school survivor who served in the Second World War. He and other Indigenous veterans were not recognized as citizens. In the latter years when they returned home, they died impoverished and of poor health and of neglect. The federal government says 3.5% of those currently serving are from First Nations. Today's ceremonies are meant to honour them and their predecessors. It's the ultimate sacrifice and they, and they did it for us. Orizetti has some advice. Be an ally, take a back seat, you know, and, and watch and support the Indigenous community and, and give them the time and space they need to heal. <laughs> Veterans honoured for their integrity with star blankets. And Ward hopes other struggling Indigenous veterans will come out of the shadows to get the support they need. We're no longer hidden. Beneath Brach, CBC News, Vancouver.